The supermarket is the best manipulating place that I know. You are manipulated from the moment you walk in the door until you leave. Your children are manipulated as well. Tammy Allgood spends a lot of time in grocery stores, not shopping for food, but analyzing how products are sold to consumers. So imagine that a child is in this cart. Notice what they're going to be seeing that's here at eye level, and even older children are gonna be seeing this at eye level. So these are the high sugar cereals that are gonna always appeal to children. The appeal, cartoon characters, high color, high energy. This is not breakfast, this is dessert. Look at the calorie count without milk and you've got the equivalent of candy bar. So would you feed your child a candy bar for breakfast? No, but you're feeding them the equivalent of it with these sweetened cereals. In order to sometimes quiet a child, you'll say, okay, fine, that's what we'll buy. The food companies are completely aware of the effects of pester power and which is one of the reasons that they partner with a lot of Disney characters or cartoon characters or that kind of thing because it sells product. The yogurt aisle, high prime kid area. And you can see the appeal of these products. They have cartoon characters, they're in bright, explosive colors. You can get, for the same amount of money, this entire thing of non-fat yogurt, and you've got 16 servings that are equal to the six servings that are in this package. So you can sweeten it yourself, add your own fruit, and you've got the same thing on a healthier version that's much less expensive than these products. Everything in the supermarket is designed for maximum sales. The way that it's laid out is designed for you to slow down and have to walk completely through the supermarket. So the two most popular things that you shop for, bread and milk, will typically be on opposite ends of the store. So it forces you to walk through the whole store. The more you moved to the center of the store, that's where more of your processed products will be that are shelf stable. You can cook a whole lot healthier than this right here. I don't really even consider this cooking. A, a good example is this type of box meal that promotes itself as being really convenient. You add your own meat. Well, when you start looking at the nutrition label, you realize that it has 830 milligrams of sodium in a one, one cup serving. So it's loaded with sodium. It's not even got uh, really any good value to it nutritionally. And you can make this a lot cheaper and a lot better for your family by doing it yourself. Lots of health claims are made on these packages. For instance, made with whole grain, you get the illusion that there's lots of fruit in this package when really it's just in the fruit punch. While products like this can be really convenient for the family, you make a sacrifice on the other end. It's loaded with sodium, it's loaded with calories, and it's expensive. Typically, there's nothing wrong with convenience or processed products, but what we're seeing is that those products are replacing fresh in the diet. And when that happens, that's when you see a spike in the number of calories that are consumed that are always gonna lead to excess weight. Okay, here we are with the magic 100 calorie 
snacks. And this became the magic number for a marketing purpose. But here's what happens with a lot of these things that claim to be like sugar-free or low sugar. And you'll see often these little health claims on the front of the package. Notice it says it's not a reduced calorie food, even though it's sugar-free. And then here's the little health claims that are designed to snag you. Anytime you pull out sugar, you're gonna have to increase either sodium or fat. And the same thing if you're pulling out sodium. If it says it's a low sodium snack, you're gonna increase either sugar or fat. Sugar sweetened soft drinks contribute to the obesity problem in children in a lot of ways. Uh, one, they have no nutritional value at all. They're just full of sugar, so they're empty calories. And two, it's very hard to regulate a portion size in a big two liter bottle like this. So what happens is that we buy these and we open them and it's hard to regulate how much you've actually consumed out of this big portion container. Now you can control your portion with smaller sized soft drinks such as this one. But if you'll notice the price difference between the larger portion and the smaller portion, you'll quickly see that if you're going to regulate your serving size via these small sizes, you will pay for it. If you shop the periphery of the store, that's where your freshest items will be. If there's one thing that will significantly change your child's enjoyment of food and the nutritional benefit that they get from food, it is always fresh. There is no substitute for it. Anytime you can go fresh, do it. Major funding for NPT Reports, Children's Health Crisis, has been provided by the Healthways Foundation, addressing the critical issues of children's health and public education, the Nashville Healthcare Council, the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, getting children well on their way, Vanderbilt University's School of Medicine, Department of Pediatrics, Baptist Healing Trust, fostering access to compassionate health care in Middle Tennessee, and by a grant from the Department of Health and Human Services and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, as administered by the Metro Nashville Public Health Department. Additional support provided by the Orrin H. Ingram Fund and by members of NPT. Thank you.